Hi, I'm John from Premium Builds. In this video, I'll show you how to install your Intel CPU and the stock cooler. Whilst Intel changed their socket designation every couple of generations, the actual mechanism hasn't changed for years. This guide is relevant for any current Intel CPU using the LGA1200 or LGA1151 socket, provided you have a compatible motherboard. Intel CPUs have notches in the side that key into tabs in the socket. If your CPU doesn't physically fit, then it's not compatible with the motherboard. Handle the CPU with care, and don't touch the metal pads on the underside. But it's the socket itself that's delicate, with thousands of tiny leaf springs that make contact with the pads. Leave the cover on it, it pops off when you install the CPU. To install the CPU, first unhook and lift the lever arm to flip the socket cover open. Orient the processor so that the notches align with the tabs in the socket. The writing will be the right way up with the hinge at the top of the socket, away from you. Carefully place it in the socket and let it sit flush. Then flip the bracket back down and ensure that the locking tab sits under the bolt opposite the hinge. Lower the arm and hook it back under the retaining tab. This locks the CPU in place. The plastic cover will pop off on its own as you do this. That's your CPU installed. I'll demonstrate how to install a stock Intel cooler that ships with the non-K series CPUs, the ones you can't overclock. It uses four plastic barbs that sit through the motherboard holes and lock in place with a pin you push down. No tools are required. If you're using a new cooler, then it comes pre-applied with thermal paste. If not, apply some paste now. Ensure the pins are pulled fully upwards, then place the cooler over the CPU. Locate the plastic barbs through the holes in the motherboard, then press the pins down using the thumb pads. Lock each one in turn. Ensure you plug in the CPU fan to the correct header on the motherboard. That's the CPU cooler installed. If you're using a K-series CPU, the high performance variants for gaming and enthusiast use, then you'll need to buy a separate cooler. Check out our guides for recommendations, and you'll have to follow the cooler's fitting instructions, as they use a variety of mounting brackets and methods. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you did. We've got more videos, including a full build video coming soon. Check out premiumbuilds.com for all the best component guides, advice, and build recommendations.